so in this video we are going to make magnason 2 for this we need paranitroaniline sodium nitrite concentrate hcl 1 naphthon and 5 percent nh solution so first we take 1 gram of paranitroaniline in a beaker then 3.5 ml of 9 molar concentrate hcl was added Then 3 ml of distilled water was also added and the contents were shaken to dissolve everything. Then this beaker was placed in an ice bath. In second beaker, 0 0.78 grams of sodium nitrate was taken. And this was dissolved in 2 ml of distilled water. After dissolving, the beaker was also placed in an ice bath. Then I took a 250 ml beaker. Inside that, I put some 1 gram of 1 naphthol. To dissolve this, I added 28 ml of 5% NaOH solution and swirled it. To dissolve the one naphthol. After dissolving, this was also cooled in ice bath. A thermometer was placed in the paranitroaniline solution to monitor its temperature. The temperature was not falling to zero degree Celsius, so I added an ice cube inside the beaker, and then the temperature quickly came down to 0 degree celsius. At this point, I started adding sodium nitrite solution into it with constant stirring, taking care that temperature does not rise above 5 degree celsius. So what's happening here is, paranitroaniline is reacting with hydrochloric acid and sodium nitrite to form paranitrobenzene diazonium chloride. This salt is only stable at cold temperatures. So when all the addition was complete, the contents were taken out of ice bath and then the diazonium salt solution was poured into the one naphthol solution. It reacts with one naphthol to form dye called magnason 2. But the solution is still basic, which is indicated by the color of the dye. So, concentrated HCl is added to precipitate the dye completely. After acidifying the solution, the color became brown. This is the dye magnason 2. So the reaction you can see is that the paranitrobenzene diazonium salt reacts with one naphthol which is in phenoxide form to form magnason 2. This is the dye magnason 2 which is brown in color. Now this is vacuum filtered through Buchner funnel. This is my DIY vacuum pump and Buchner funnel. If you want to see, you can click on that I button, which will direct you directly to the video.
The precipitate is washed a couple of times with distilled water and the filtrate is yellow in color. And here is the dye. After drying, final yield came out to be 1.9 grams which corresponds to 90% yield. Now some distilled water is taken in a test tube and some of dye is added to distilled water. You can see that the dye is insoluble in water and does not give any color. However, on adding sodium hydroxide solution, purple colored solution is formed. This solution was divided into four test tubes. In the first test tube, dilute hydrochloric acid was added and the color changed to yellow. In the third test tube, magnesium sulfate solution was added and you can see that a blue lake is formed. Therefore, this dye is also used for testing magnesium ions. as it gives a blue lake in alkaline solution with magnesium ions. <coughs> in the four test tube, I added some tap water and you can see that a blue color solution is formed on the top and after some time the lake precipitates in the second test tube i added some more distilled water and you can see the colors now after some time the blue lakes are formed more nicely and they have started to coagulate the blue lake formed in the tap water is due to the presence of magnesium ions in tap water. Like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. I would like to thank Aga for financial support due to which I am able to create videos which require costly glass equipment like condenser, joints, flats, etc. If you want me to try advanced synthesis such as Grignard reaction which involve hot plays with magnetic stirrer, three neck flask, different chemicals etc. You can support me financially through Patreon and PayPal. Links are given in description.